See, we try to buy sake according to what's going to be good, you know, what's different, what's out there. Lindsay picks bottles by how cute they are. <laughs> sometimes a gold, gold top. Yeah, hello. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. So, this particular Junmai, Nambu Ryu. Nambu Ryu. It's from Iwate, and it's following from the same brewery as the show we did last week from Asa. Baraki. Asabaraki. Asabaraki. And it's from Iwata, which is in northern Honshu. You got your backwards California like this. It's at the top. I'm oh, sorry, wrong California. So it's like that. It's right here in the upper northeast. Let me give you the deets, okay? It's from Asabaraki, <laughs> which is from uh, Iwata Ken, northern Honshu. And the right side is a Toyo Nishiki. Which is a. We never had that before, did we? No, I think it's probably going to be a new rice type for us. I don't think we've actually tried a Toyota Shiki rice type. Oh, yeah, um, the same Ibu White or the polishing rate on this bad boy is 60%. 60. And the alcohol content is 15 50. and a half, Which is right there. That's perfect for you. <laughs> Should get you like extra Lindsay. And <laughs> the Nihon Shudo or sake meter value is a plus, plus two. two. So it's going to be demi sec, kind of dry, halfway mm. dry. Right? A city is only a 1.4. 1. 4. And it means. Southern Stream? Southern Stream. Wow. Southern Comfort. <laughs> Southern <laughs> Comfort. She said Southern Comfort. Here, you know what? I think all we need to do to solve this problem is crack the bottle. So pretty. It's so pretty, like Chili de Omodo. <laughs> Here, let's get the. Gotta keep the gold. Okay. This is a very nice bottle. It's very elegant. Hey, this one's clear, clear. Oh, no, there's a yellow. There's Slight yellow. yellow tingy tinge. Yep. Green, yellow, lime, yellow. <laughs> That'd be so funny <laughs> if it just went <laughs> and like, no, it wouldn't be funny actually, because then I'd be on the, on the carpet. Oh, trying that's to, like, like half the bottle. Why? Mm. You don't want to drink half? I want to drink all. Okay, it does have a light yellow tinge to it, but not as much as normal. Mm -hmm. And then let's pour some out. Oh, you know, I need to use my my patented competition cup. Competition I need cup. to bring mine. You know, the competition cup is good for the coloration. Yeah. Okay, and then one for solar bamboo, and one for Michael Choi. Hey, Michael Choi. By the way, I ordered some stuff from you on We Rule. Can you hurry up with that? Thank you. Flying broomsticks. Flying broomsticks. <laughs> One for Toffee Claws, and one for Colin. It's actually Colin, but it's more fun if you say Colin, because <laughs> such <laughs> Oh, do you need some? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then, do you want to use your pimp cup or this little guy? I'll use that. Okay. Then if it's Lindsay's. Oh. There. That's the Lindsay <laughs> size. No, none for Philip. Philip can use the pimp cup. Here, this is all Philip gets right here. <laughs> See, pouring it in that cup sounds like Harry Potter is going to like do something. Okay. Oh, it smells good. Smell. I can't even lift. Smell it. I can't lift the cup. Wow. It smells like heaven on paradise. It does smell like heaven. You know what it smells like to me? It smells like forest after a rain. <laughs> no, I swear to God. I'm not even trying to frolic in the middle. I mean, it really does smell like forest. It smells like... It smells like solar bamboo. Do you know, do you know what? <laughs> like raindrops gently no, wait, falling wait. on a bamboo. See, this is going to be a leaves. hard question because being from Hawaii, you probably don't know what a cypress tree smells like. I don't think we have any in Hawaii. In the world? But it smells like a cypress or a cedar, like a cypress or a uh, cedar tree. I smell cedar. It's really, really light, like when you walk into one of those closets. Oh, it smells delicious. But it has a little fruity smell too, like tomato fried fruit. You can't taste it yet. Hi, I we did gotta it. I'm calm it. it smells so good. Okay, like we're, we're gonna stick to Woodsy. Ooh la la. <laughs> I like this. Okay, hold that thought. Studio oh. audience, do you think this shit's gonna fly over there by itself? You actually gotta come and get it. <laughs> this ain't Oprah. We don't have like assistance. <laughs> 
Like, okay, right now, all of y'all, look under your chair, girl. We have a <laughs> gift for you. I'm in the giving spirit. You're all getting iPads. Yeah. I don't hear any cheering. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is is uh, Solar Bamboo driving? Because I'm gonna see what happens when he does to a car when he's sober. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. It's smooth and then it has a. It, it is, okay. But it has. You can Man, taste I like that smell, dude. It smells like fresh cut forest. <laughs> you can taste the, uh, the acid at the end. No, it does, it does have an acid bite in the beginning, mm -hmm. but then it mellows out really well. You know what it is? It's kind of rich. This one's good. It's trippy that... It's very citrusy. Right. It's citrusy, but if you say that yellow thing, I, you <laughs> zip. Like lime? There you go. No, it's citrusy <laughs> like like yuzu. Okay? Or yuja for the Koreans. It's very tangy, too. Okay, here's, what, here's what's trippy about this. As you pour sake, you'll notice it all has the same general viscosity. This one's thick. But, yeah, the, the mouthfeel on this one is thick, this as sick. if you were drinking something thicker, like creamy. Right? So, it pours like any other alcohol, but it has a certain viscosity, or I call it rich. Rich, uh, maybe you can say creamy, yeah. but it's, it's, it's rounded. That initial bite, it just goes in real quick, and then it, <coughs> out of there. It's like panties on sale at Walmart. <sighs> <laughs> Does the studio audience I hate Walmart, like by it? Way. They like it. They look happy. <laughs> mm. This is very good. You know what? I decided I need to taste some more. When do you not need to taste more? What are you trying to say? I just got to make absolutely <laughs> sure. I want to make sure that our viewers have the best advice so they know mm. when they go to buy some Nambu Ryu that don't know what they're tasting. This is nice. It is sticking. Creamy, like. Very creamy, like. Now, um, there's oh. something about this that tastes a little different. Whatever this rice, what was the rice type? It's delicious. Toyo Nishiki. It is good. What are the tasting notes? Oh, rich, we said that. Rich oh. and creamy. It's rich and creamy, but it's kind of rounded. Like, the acid is only there for like a quick second. It's just like a, ooh, don't do that again. It's like, you know, when your mom gives you that look, like you better stop it, but you didn't really get smacked. You just got that look that so feels keep, like you so got you smacked. So you doing it? Yeah, so you know, you know you got smacked, but, you know, you know you're about to get in trouble. It has that. Um, that, that fruitiness is very citrusy, right? Like and, lime. Like lime. And I think, you know where yeah. I think that, um, that viscosity comes from? The fact that it's dry. It's a medium dryness. It's not super dry. Yeah, it's not super dry. It's not too bitey. Very nice. So, this Jumai is made using the traditional um, sake brewing method called the uh, Nambu style. And the Toji's basically been doing the same way for about 300 years. Wow. The guy, again, who founded the brewery, he was a samurai back in the Meiji era. So, again, he, he had to make sake or commit Hello Kitty. <laughs> I always say that. I really don't know if that part is true. <laughs> but um, the, the Nambu Toji, these, the, the brewing people, they've been together for over 300 years, wow. and they've been creating and developing these great sake. Does that mean they're vampires? This is not Twilight. <laughs> you said 300 years they've been doing it. Well, they're descendants, <laughs> not the same dude. <laughs> If the same dude was like 300 years old, man, oh my God, he'd be, I would have graduated with him. Does he sparkle? <laughs> Does he sparkle? Oh my God, she's on Eclipse. Um, so what's neat about this is you can tell the sakes that have that old world style to it. There's a, there's a different flavor or complexity to old style. And it's probably created, um, again, using spring water from Awate because it's a cold place. They're going to have a lot of snow. And by hand. This is mostly probably hand created. But yeah, this is a great, great sake. And again, just so you remember, Iwate Ken is in northern Honshu, or the top part of upper 
backwards California. We have to go visit a sake brewery. Brewery? We have to take like on-site location live filming in Japan. There you go. Okay, I know how to say it. Look, if this is California and this is Sacramento, then Iwate is boom, backwards California, backwards Sacramento. <laughs> Got it. Here, let's one more taste before we... Move. I need more. So what do you think it's going to go well with? This is going to go really well with fresh vegetables. Mm. Because it does have that natural woodsy complex, it's going to go really well like with fresh, fresh vegetables. Red peppers. Red peppers. I think grilled vegetables. This will go good mm. with grilled vegetables. Mm. Or, you know... Red grilled shrimp with le lime on it. Le lime? Lime you, on You know it. the... Um, <laughs> The broccoli salt. that comes in the bag when you go to Gyukaku, like that. Oh, oh, oh. With the cheese and stuff. Oh, oh, I think yes, it'll go yes. great with that. I think this is actually a good standalone. So you can probably pair this with anything. It tastes different straight from the bottle. Really? That's because when you put it in there, air gets into it. You know? It's less citrusy from if you drink it straight from the bottle. Now, here's what's funny. This one is served chilled right now, but they say you can serve it. Serve it. You can serve it warmed. So, like, if it was really cold outside, you could heat this bad boy up. We haven't and just, done warm sake yet. Because it's 90 freaking degrees outside. This is Hawaii. When is, when is it not 90 degrees? Hence the point. We have to go somewhere cold to do hot sake. Oh, okay, when we go to Japan. No, because I tried drinking hot sake in Maui. Ah, sake. Sake. Oh See, I hang God. out with Russ two days in a row, and now I just hollyfied my word. Russ, don't say that ever sake. again. Sake. Sake. Everybody tweet up Russ Carr on Twitter and tell him it's sake. <laughs> mm. It is good. So what do See, you want to give it? Um, well, I'm going to give it four and a half. Hey! <laughs> That's what I was going to say. We can agree now. <laughs> it's okay. 4.5, I was going to say that. No, you know why I say four and a half? Um, I would give it a five, but... There's a certain, uh, nandata. There's a certain, nandake, nandake, nandake. There's a, just something missing. Yeah, something's it's missing. It's almost there, but I don't know what that is. But you can tell this was from the same family as the one we tried last week. Yeah. The Yume Akari or Dreaming Light. But I like this light. one more, because last week mm. I gave it a four. This one I gave You really it like this one more? Yeah, I like this one more. Well, on Sake Shop, Nadine says she likes this one more, and Malcolm likes the pink one more. So you're trying to say me and Malcolm like the pink one more? Yeah, and uh, me and Nadine like the blue one, the manly one. <laughs> look at your man. Now look at me. Now look at your man. Now look at me. Now look at your man. Now look back at me. I don't know what you're I'm talking about. I'm on a horse. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Power. Oh. <laughs> I'm on a horse. I like that. That's my favorite part of the whole thing. Karate kick. <laughs> Well, it's not that manly. There's like some pink flowers right there. It's a very pretty vase. You can put like flowers in and make it like a vase. Oh, it's a, a vase. vase. It'd be a very pretty vase. It's a vase. This, it has a, Michael Choi says it has a lot of flavors and you're right, right? It, it kind of like changes a lot. So that's what makes this kind of sake fun to drink because as you're drinking it and it's keep changing flavors, and you keep drinking it more, expecting to see, like, hey, what's going to so come fun. next? It's so fun. You don't know what's going to happen next. It's like watching a baby talk when they first learn how to talk. You don't know what kind of crap is going to come out of their mouth. So you keep egging them on just to see what else they can say. Or a parrot. Kids say the darndest things. <laughs> Topher, what do you think? What do you give? It's going to be, we need another star. Four. You give it a four? Never mind, Topher. We'll <laughs> take the four and a half. Well, that's Michael Choi. What's what do that? you think, Michael Choi? He says four. You can talk, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. I would have bought solar power back there. <laughs> what about um, turbo electric? No. What's he said that? Four. What's a geothermic? Geothermic <laughs> bamboo. Geothermal. Wait a minute. That's after hot pot when he eats too much mochi. <laughs> solar <laughs> bamboo. Geothermic bamboo. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what do you, What do you say, Luna? What do you think? Four? Okay, we got fours all around the house, man. This is, this, I'm gonna say this is a pretty gangster sake. Um, what you're gonna wanna do, go to the sake shop. Don't forget to ask for the Mito World discount. You can throw the gang signs at them, you know, and then, you know, but you <laughs> can just tell them scared. you saw this on Mito World. <laughs> and 
I would say you definitely want to try this. Um, and the pink one last week. You know what's good about this? We're, we're just, it's 4th of July today, of course. Happy birthday, America. You rock. <laughs> Yay! It's America's birthday. How old are they? 247, 248. Are they a vampire? <laughs> what is up with you and vampires? Eclipse okay. came out this weekend. First, the bottle is easy enough to slip into a Twilight premiere. So if, yeah. if your girlfriend insists on you watching a stupid ass movie like this, take this, drink half. Don't be like you and sit in line for five hours. And then the movie would be even more awesome if you're drunk. <laughs> the vampire, it might be like three Eight hours? Eight hours you stood in line to see vampire movies? Yo, I would have broke up and then got back together after Twilight. <laughs> That's what I would have done. That's I didn't pimp, tell him to go with strong. me. He volunteered. Yeah, because yeah, boys do dumb stuff. <laughs> anyway, second, what I was trying to say, because it's America's birthday, this is like grilling season. Oh. I think this and a grill, you could grill anything. Even like a chicken. A chicken, you know, a chicken. Like a light chicken. Like you know, a chicken. fish, uh, grilled vegetables. Opaka paka. Opaka paka. Or opa. Like a light white opa. fish. Opa like your brother? Yeah. You're going to eat your brother. That's just zip. <laughs> no, like a light white fish. My name fish. is Max Mahi Oh, mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. Yeah, I think like this a really would go light with... fish. I think that would go it well. It says Los Angeles, California, not mahi mahi. I had to double check the bottle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, once again, we're going to give it a, a round about four and a half stars. Um, great sake. You want to try this? Nambu Ryu. Matarai Shu. Bye-bye.